And while St. Augustine has Knights of Lights, Jacksonville Beach has Deck the Chairs, a nonprofit geared toward art exposure. Within its exhibit, Beaches Go Green, also a nonprofit that aims to spread awareness about the waste we produce and how it impacts the environment, they have set up sculptures within that area. Here to tell us more is the founder of Deck the Chairs, Curtis Loftus. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Just moments ago, we showed images <laughs> of your exhibit. That's really, yeah. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller is out there covering the weather. The weather is a big concern for you guys. I didn't. Know, I hoped we wouldn't be talking right. about this this morning, but you're right. It's uh, it happened last year. The big lows cross our state sometimes, and they have a lot of energy. And uh, the next thing you know, we're cleaning up a mess out there. It's uh, a lot of wind, a lot of rain, and. And lights don't like moisture, right. so we, we deal with that as a, as a group, and we're putting a plan together for probably tomorrow, but it's uh, get the park cleaned up, get the electricity back on. There's about six of us, eight of us, and uh, we're going to do our best, but that's what everyone wants. They want the lights, and they want it pretty, but during the day or even night when you've got right. weather events like this, it's... I know, and that's not that's not specific toward your event by any means. Just around the area this morning, things are looking ugly. I know yeah. earlier we were showing aerial shots of the exhibit. Absolutely stunning if people want to go out. With this weather, will you be open tonight? Well, so and we get calls like that. Right. So the it's a public space. It's right. a park space. So we actually, all we're doing is decorating a public park mm -hmm. space. We don't charge admission, right? There's uh, It's free. It's open 24-7. Uh, the lights are on from 5 to 1. So really... So they'll be on tonight? They'll be on, but uh, it's going to be a question. And we'll get calls, and some people will check in, and they'll say, well, we've got about half a dozen displays out. And it takes, because of the electrical component out there, it takes us almost uh, dry weather and six to eight hours to reset wow. stuff. It, it's, it's a challenge. Yeah. I have done several stories on this exhibit this year. It is absolutely stunning. If you have not seen it, I suggest going down to do so. Congratulations to our sponsors. There's about 40 chairs out there, and each of those chairs is hand-decorated. The custom designing, the decorating, and then most of these are small business owners, and they're out there all the time in the park trying to reset because people are, you know, it's interactive and there are people that are coming into the space and they're touching and they're playing and they're getting pictures taken. And uh, I was out with one of them last night that uh, uh, First Coast Year of Gynecology and he's got this nice display of electronics and lights and, but it, and a snow machine and the little snow stuff gets damaged and he's resetting it. So they're all the time doing their best to make it this most special display. At the center of your exhibit this year, you've teamed up with Beaches Go Green. What a tremendous organization, and they're relatively young, uh, but the, uh, the whole idea is, again, loving the community, talking about awareness with plastics in her case, and it's education, education. And that is it right there. It's At the center yeah. of their corner of the exhibit is this massive octopus, all made out of, yeah. like you just said, well, it's plastics all over, and then there's a metal structure underneath it that had to get designed and constructed, and that metal piece was three months in a shop. Artistic contractors built the display. It's 100 feet across, and it's, uh, it, again, a team of people that love Deck the Chairs and what we're doing out there in that park space. Doing something this scale with this kind of involvement with community, it's, it's a huge undertaking, but there's a lot of different people in place to make this work right. And so. it's so beautiful to see so many people, so many organizations come together yes. for one cause, and that's all for art and educating people on the exposure. And this, this was a park that uh, seven years ago, well, we started seven years ago, eight years ago it was dark. In the wintertime, it was, there was no one there. And we wanted to activate that space during the wintertime. It's a beach community. Usually beach communities are real active in the summer and the spring with festivals and such. This had been dark the, the year before, and we were like, as a group, let's get this thing activated. Let's use the lifeguard chairs and art. Really, truly, it's become magical. Really quick, before we let you go, I wanted to ask you two questions. One, if people want to get involved, how can they do so? Well, that's deckthechairs.org, and um, you can, or info at deckthechairs.org, so please just email us. That's a great way, and I give out my phone number a lot, too, so I have to be careful right now. Yeah. My second question, we spoke with Anne Marie last week. She is the founder of Beaches Go Green. They're trying to find out what to do with this magnificent octopus at the end of the season. Why not? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a great educational piece. Anyone that's been through there, they're, right. they're amazed, they're shocked, and they, we want a space for it after Deck the Chairs, so we're hoping that some people, we've contacted locally a few organizations of contact the marine land we're talking to people that might this might fit with them and see if we can get this moved over there and keep it in the public venue if viewers at home have any suggestions how can they yeah. do go about again, again beaches go green uh, they'll get a hold of Anne marie awesome. uh, or deck the chairs.org curtis we love what you're doing out there thank you so much for coming in this well, morning thank you Zach. thank you appreciate it
You can find more information about these events online at beachestowncenter.com. We'll also have this entire interview posted on our website, newsforjax.com, later this morning.